How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a beautiful day everywhere you guys might be. So today we're going to be dedicating this video to a skin that I unlocked recently and that is the Future Wave Val Level 2. And you can tell it's level 2 because I got a inverted tr triangle glowing symbol on my forehead. That's right. It's pretty cool. I actually really like this skin. The level 2 version looks really clean. What? Am, no, no, no. That's not where I went. I went right here. So, as you can see, to get the level 3 version, I'm not quite there. That's the level 1. The level 2's got even a bigger glowy pink triangle. And then the level 3's got two triangles. Crazy, I know. And the sword gets even more crazy looking. The level 3 version. I can't wait for that. Animated sword. But, uh, yeah, I got a long ways to go. As you can see, I got, uh, uh 330 side signatures or recovery Takeos to go, so, <laughs> it's gonna take me a little bit of time, but we're getting there. I mean, it took, what, like, three weeks for me to get this far, so, yeah, it's probably gonna take at least another two weeks for me to get the level three version of this Val skin, and that's okay. So, uh, as far as, like, Val herself, she's a really good legend. Uh, I used to like her a lot. I don't really play her very much anymore, so I'm probably going to be a little bit rusty. Might might even lose a game. We'll see. Uh, but going against Mordex here, Shadow Man 12384. I love those boxing <laughs> gauntlets he's using, the boxing glove gauntlets. And that, that uh, skin, Fenrir Mordex. Definitely one of the coolest looking skins in the game. Oh man, he he just kind of mind gimped himself. He did that neutral sig, trying to hit me, but I find that when I'm fighting Scythe, if you can like hover right. Oh, thank you. You just made me live. Never mind. He got the finish anyway. If you hover right above or right below them, it's hard for them to attack you because, remember, Scythe has to attack mostly diagonally. That's... Most of the hitboxes are diagonal for Scythe. See what I mean? He It, it struggles. It's a struggle if you stay right above him. <laughs> just steer right onto his head. You know, when Gauntlet first came out, and I saw the steerable ground pound. I thought it was so overpowered and I still think it's pretty overpowered to be honest. I mean, not too many weapons you can do that. Oh my gosh, I got back again. I should have died right there, but Legends never die. And Mordex is looking at his final stock here. I mean, we should be able to clean this up and get the victory. One good sig is all I need. There it is. Woohoo! GG, dude, GG. Yes! Future Wave Val! Looking pretty good. I actually do need gauntlet damage, so that's good. I need to work on my weekly missions as well. I need Blaster KOs? Okay, I'll do that later. We're gonna stick with uh, Future Wave Val for now, this entire episode. Just because, you know, I like to dedicate... Wow, that looks good. I like to dedicate one episode to every version of the skin, and this looks really good. In, like, every color. Maybe not yellow, but... Wow, this is one of those rare skins that actually looks really good on every color. It's amazing. Lucky Clover looks super good. Dang, this is actually hard to pick. I think I'm gonna go with Lucky Clover just because it looks so cool. By the way, guys, if you want Charged OG Mountain Dew colors, I hope you're watching the Brawlhalla Mammoth Cup right now. Uh, it's happening all weekend, and uh, 
you're probably going to have to watch it all weekend to unlock the colors, but definitely go to twitch.tv slash Brahala, and all you got to do is watch watch the Brahala esports, and you can get charged OG universal colors for every single legend. That simple. Going against uh, Ember, the new skin, too. We're doing all right here. Wow, he barely touched us. That's all right, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you start. It only matters how you finish. Man, I have not weapon starved this long in a long time. Like, he really struggling to get a weapon. Again, that wall side sig KO. So if you guys didn't know, Val has unique signatures. Like, her side sig has three different versions. Three different versions on the same move. Not even kidding. Alright, he got a weapon, so now the game may completely change. So here's one version, right? You do it in the air and you just kind of slap it right down a little bit. Like that. Fun move, fun move. And then it also has the grounded version, which he's not letting me do right now, but... I'm sure you guys know the grounded. There it is. Alright, so that's the grounded version. And then here's the wall version, my favorite version. Shoo! Alright, now that I've shown you all the moves, I think we're just going to have to take him out. Wolf White! I can't wait to play the new Walking Dead Ember uh, skin. I think it's Daryl, right? It's going to be so great. GG! That little down air just gave me enough time to get up to him. Jadiona Perk. That's a cool avatar. I think that's the Mammoth Cup avatar, actually. I don't have it because I didn't participate, but I wish I did. GG, dude. GG. Was that a three sock? Yes, it was. Okay. Uh, look at all that gauntlet damage I got, though. 283. Very nice. All right, let's keep going. I'll do... I wish I had synthwave colors. We could look at what it looks like in the training. Let's see. Let's go into training. Let's see what it looks like with synth synthwave colors. Oh, yeah. That looks really good. And Skyforge and Goldforged, wow. Goldforged Val does look really cool. I kind of wish I had that now. Online. I think I have Skyforge though. I mean, we could do that. Yeah, I do have Skyforge. So all I need is the Goldforged Val, which I do have enough glory to get. What do you guys think? Should I save my glory or should I get the Goldforged Val? I don't know, man. Like, I kind of want to just work on getting Skyforge colors for both legends first. I literally think it's impossible for me to get both Skyforged and Goldforged colors for every legend. It's just impossible. Because you only get, I only get like 10,000 glory every few months. You know, every every season change. That's just not enough. That's only enough to get a few colors. And there's just so many if you're counting both Skyforged and Goldforged. You know what I'm saying? All right, he's uh, he's doing a lot of damage, but he has yet to get the KO. That's all that matters. See what I mean? It doesn't matter how much damage they do. It only matters if they get the KO. Literally all that matters.
That was good. He knew I wasn't gonna go for the weapon. He did that down sig. It paid off. It was a good read. Woo, we are just destroying at this point. Oh! <laughs> I love that little standoff we had and then the roundhouse kick. He not happy anymore. He not a happy Lucian. I love that skin, by the way. Oh, GG. <laughs> I was trying to tap him on the head with a down air, but I just couldn't get to it. GG, dude, GG. I had two accidents, man. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's keep going. I really want to get that gauntlets challenge finished. Alright, let's do Soulfire this time. This is from the last Battle Pass. Battle Pass 1. And I gotta say, I actually like Battle Pass 1 better than Battle Pass 2. Just because I love the, the theme of it. The Oni spirits or whatever. That's such a cool theme. I do love Synthway Battle Pass, don't get me wrong. But I do like the theme of the first one better. I can't wait to see what the theme of the third one is gonna be. Hopefully it's something equally as awesome. All right, going against a gold forged grin. Ooh boy. Ooh baby, there's some down airs for you. I didn't even miss maybe one. Ow. Man, that weapon throw actually killed him because he was too hasty. Haste makes waste. He could have easily dodged that if he wasn't in such a rush to get back on stage. He is so eager to get that stock, man. He did not want to get three stocked. I could tell. He might get it. Looking at him, I forgot about the mine. Oh man, that was that was unfortunate. GG, dude, GG. I can't believe I didn't see the mine. Like I, it was my own mine. It was my mine. Oh my gosh, GG, dude, GG. Oh, I forgot I need to get more gauntlets damage. All right, I need 600 gauntlets damage. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of gauntlet damage. I might be able to do it in a game of free for all. But, that's alright. Let's do, oops, nope, not the same colors. Let's do uh, Charged OG colors, because these are the ones that you can unlock this weekend. Actually, right now, probably. As you're watching this, probably the Twitch Mammoth Cup is going on. If you're watching this the day it comes out, definitely check out twitch.tv slash Oh, speaking of, it really doesn't have anything to do with it, but I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support you've been giving me. 
Uh, the channel's been doing really good lately, and I just wanted to say thank you guys. If you enjoy the video, please drop a like, it does help me out. And uh, if you play Rocket League or Fortnite, please use creator code Lucians underscore sword, just the way it's spelled on my name right there. Creator code, support a creator code Lucian sword, I appreciate it. Every little bit helps support the channel. Uh-oh. Oh man, that side air cost her. She did not need to do that. I wasn't even close to her. So I don't know why she did that, but it caused her the bomb and the stock. I feel like she's gonna start hitting those SIGs. She's gonna start throwing them out. I'm scared of Queen Nye SIGs. Yep, there it is. I knew it. There they come. Soon as I got into red health, man, she just throwing them out. No, see? They're so good. The neutral sig and the down sig hit on both sides, which is incredible. Oh, man, she probably would have got back if I didn't do that side air, or down air. <laughs> yeah, you're not the only one with some cool sigs. Oh my goodness, I did not think she would actually do that. I respect it, Kool-Aid. I respect it. That was a good move. You can never be afraid to take a little bit of risk. Even if you're losing, in fact, probably usually when you're lo losing, you want to take the most risk. Because <laughs> you're going to lose anyway. You might as well try some crazy stuff. GG, dude. GG. Alright, guys. Oh, so close. So close. I'll get that later. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like. And uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next video, guys. I'm going to be trying to get Val to the future wave level 3. Can't wait to get that. I have been working on Mako to level 25. You can see my Mako's level 19. But I figured I would take a break from Mako videos because I've pretty much been doing nothing but doing Mako. So you guys might be getting sick of that. Thought I'd do something else. If there's a legend that you really want me to play, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I do read all the comments. And uh, yeah, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.